Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Two teams will need their quarterbacks to step up and lead their offenses on the gridiron today. It's Brady's Patriots going up against Stafford's Lions. All right, Larry, EA Sports coverage of the NFL sends us to the state of Michigan as we are inside Ford Field in downtown Detroit. Both teams emerging from the Ford Field tunnels just a short time ago. And, of course, the loudest cheers were reserved for the hometown Lions. They're set to go as they will match up with the New England Patriots. Here's Steven Goskowski now to kick this one off. And we are underway from Ford Field. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. move but not a ton of space there they stop him shy of the 25 a gain of three second down not much happening there on first down I thought there might have been a hole for a split second yeah but it dried up pretty quickly didn't it closed fast second down following the run They go back to Reddick. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. I once had a defensive player in the NFL tell me, if I beat and dominate the guy across from me, I'm helping my team. But well, winning one-on-one -on -one battles is always a part of the game. But when you have good team defense, as we just saw there, a one broken tackle, but he didn't get away because the rest of the guys arrived to put him on the ground. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And he'll find Galladay, that's complete. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. We'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. to get this up over the 40. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Stafford to the right side to Eric Ebron and he'll get up near the 45 they'll spot it at the 44 only three yards on the catch it's third down so here we go a third down after the second down pass completion down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Stafford finding his big tight end, Ebron, for a lion first down. And here comes play number six on this drive. Left. 
Stafford on first down. Oh, that was dangerous. Throw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. pick up there 10 yards and it'll move the sticks that old line they cleared a big hole there on that run the athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve and we're seeing it here not only they're controlling things right at the line of scrimmage but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels you know get to linebacker spot the secondary spot getting all the way downfield with their blocking which helps keep the running back clean they will try to continue that trend here this afternoon They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. They give him four yards there, it'll be second and six. Tough running there, that's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. And that's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And with it, time has expired on the first quarter. Here with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, as the Lions are in possession of the football here to begin quarter number two. They're on the march, but facing a third down here. And the offense readies for play number 10 of this series. To throw on third down, Stafford. And this time he's got the hookup, it's complete. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19 yard line. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Here's Riddick, and just a couple yards there down to the 17. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. So they can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. To throw on second down to Stafford. Incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. The Lions on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and eight. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And this is going to be incomplete. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. Now it's Matt Prater on for the Lion field goal try. This will be a 34-yard attempt. Ten-year vet knocks it through the goalposts, and the Lions are going to take a three-nothing lead. 
So a 15-play drive. Can't believe that only resulted in three, but it did. That is somewhat amazing, isn't it? When you hold the ball that long, run offense that well, yet only put three points on the board, it has to be a little bit of a disappointment, doesn't it? Has to. Now it's Martin to do the honors after the made field goal. Now Deion Lewis to return. And some room to work. Nice move by Lewis. Deion Lewis. 30. The 20. 10. Five. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Deion Lewis, 97 yards. And the Pats able to cash in for six. So they gave up the field goal, but boom, they get it right back. Don't even worry about getting their offense on the field. They return it on the kickoff. So I see your three points. And raise you. And raise you six. <laughs> Double it up, coming right back at them. And if that's going to be the trade all game long, someone's going to be very happy with the end result. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. So let's discuss the Detroit Lions as their offense makes their way back out there, Charles. Last three years, including a playoff loss in 2016, they're 25 and 24. They're going to have a new head coach, of course, Jim Caldwell, let go at the end of the year. And you know, it always seems like the Lions are stuck right in that middle ground, 7-9, 8-8, 9-7. Can they make that jump to go higher than that? One would think so, but I think they're going to need to add some pieces to their team because, as you noted, right in the middle ground, they can throw the heck out of it, but they can't run it on offense. On defense, they got a little bit better against the run, but what about the pass rushers? Because Ziggy Ansah played hurt most of the season, couldn't be his normal explosive self. They've got to get some more help there, some extra people at the second level at linebacker in order to keep up with the high-powered offenses in the NFC North. Riddick with a carry. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Partner, you mind if I take off this headset and put on a coaching headset? You want to get this running game going? I want to get this running game going. I'm going down there and saying, gentlemen, we have got to run the football. We've got to get it going right now. Yeah, to this point in the second quarter, it has been a struggle. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We'll come back to Ford Field after this. And a long way to go for the offense here on second down. Back to throw, Stafford. It's complete to Golden Tate. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Super Bowl 49 hero Malcolm Butler. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. Let's face it. We're all going to remember Malcolm Butler from the Super Bowl, the interception that reverberates, the one that denied Seattle back-to-back -back Super Bowl titles. But he's become a very talented, good player in the league, 
He's not going to just be remembered for one play. So after the INT, it's Brady. Allen has it, left side. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Now before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. Double tight, guys, double tight. Brady to throw on second down. And a first hookup with his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead, as he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. So the offense has it first and 10. Throwing on first down is Brady. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away. But it does get away, and it's second down. Second down now after the incompletion. stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Throwing is Brady on third down. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Four yards on the pickup, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. ike has been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd went to ballet school, got the toes down, and stayed in bounds. to punt as he gets this one away. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. So the football switching hands here in just a second. And, you know, Tom Brady, just to go off on a tangent for a second, may have lost the Super Bowl, but third MVP this past season and what he did at age 40, really something, right, Charles? Absolutely phenomenal. Ended up beating out Todd Gurley, the running back for the Los Angeles Rams. But he would have traded it for a Super Bowl win, don't you think? How about this? The last nine NFL MVPs to play in the Super Bowl that same season, 
0 oh, and 9. Yeah. Can't we go all the way back to Kurt Warner in what, 1999 when he earned the double? We were going over that stat earlier. That is hard to believe. But he would have been the MVP had the Patriots pulled that one out. He still has five rings, though. Five Super Bowl titles for Brady. And yeah, they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Seven here. It's a pickup of five. Brings up second down. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. that time as that'll move the chains. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Well, this is how you shape the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw ten interceptions in a row, I'm going to stay confident, keep flinging it. I just figured there's something wrong with the football. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here.
The play clock's running down. That's going to set him back five yards. A little bit of ground to make up for the offense as they face a second and 11. Here's Brady. Quickly to Gronkowski. That's caught. And he's able to get up here to the 26. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Fielded just inside the 20. A great return there of 22 yards. And the Lions will take over. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance to turn that into points on the offensive end. Can you imagine what the grease board looks like at the half? Because no, tell me. that's exactly what they printed up. Stop them on defense, get the ball back for our offense, and go downfield and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. Do people use grease boards, or you mean the magic marker boards? Yeah, those two. <laughs> <laughs> on first and 10, Stafford. Oh, a hit. He lost the football. Stafford puts it on the ground. On plays like this, when the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Here's Stafford now on second down. Finding some room at midfield. Ebron caught left side. 20, 10, touchdown, Detroit. Eric Ebron, 63 yards. And the Lions are in for six. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call, but he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. Martin the putter now out to kick it away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. 
And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. And now out come the Patriots. And this is their third drive. Maybe the focus right now not so much on points, but getting their first first down. And when you start off a game, you don't even think that's an issue, do you? But you go a drive, a second drive, no first down, that becomes an issue. Now you've got to think about, okay, what type of play calling do I have to do to get us in a spot to pick that first one up? They'll start things on first down with Deion Lewis. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Here we go with second and seven. They try again with Lewis. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. On third down. That's Lewis, and he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Brady gives this one to Lewis. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. So the offense readies for a second and four. A give to the fullback on the dive. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Well, after that pickup of a first down, I think some of the defensive guys are going to be looking over their coordinator and saying that was not in the scouting report. That went against every tendency most teams have. You don't usually hand the ball to your big guy in that situation. Sometimes you catch him by surprise. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Back now at Ford Field. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Four yards remaining now on second down. On the give, this is their fullback. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. Watching that run takes me back to something a famous old coach once said. Any player he wants on his team, he wants him to be agile, mobile, and most definitely hostile. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. Now Lewis. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards on the pickup. And that'll bring up a third down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. They'll run it here. This is James White. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Call it a four-yard pickup, but it leaves him a few inches short here on fourth down.
One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try and pick it up with Lewis. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. They'll give him a yard on the play, and they're able to convert here on fourth and inches. And this seemingly endless drive continues. This is their fullback getting the carry. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Now that's the defense that they were looking for, being able to get extra bodies to the point of attack to deal with the big guy carrying the ball. You really don't want to be in a position where it's a one-on-one -on -one tackle with him. Eight yards to go here on second down. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. This is Lewis, and he'll take this one down near the 15. He'll pick up only a yard there, and it'll leave him with a third and seven. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. They'll try and run with their fullback. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. I love the modern game, but that was a throwback right there to see the big man with football running, knocking people aside, and picking up yardage. That takes me back to the 60s, the 70s, when fullbacks ruled the earth. They converted once earlier in this drive, but they'll roll the dice here again on fourth down. Meeting the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. They only got two, but that was enough as they'll convert to make it first and goal. Well, just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. Carry here for their fullback. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. I'm a little surprised right here. They've got three timeouts left. The clock's running down, and they aren't using them. Those timeouts do you no good at home. Use them now. Ball spotted at the four. It's second and goal. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. And now prior to this third and one, we're going to get a timeout here as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Third and goal, Patriots now Tom Brady, for the one. Tom Brady on the sneak. Fullback try and push the pile. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Only a yard there, so it brings up fourth and goal. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. They'll 
And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. It's the fullback with time running out. And the Patriots have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. The point after try for Goskowski. And it would appear they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. Goskowski now out to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's going to be out of bounds here as the run back will leave him shy of the 20-yard line. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. Critical condition here, obviously. Got to hope to get something quick right and then maybe take that shot deep. And once they do take the big shot, you've got to worry on defense. Of course, no one getting behind the defense to make it an easy throw. But nowadays, it's not just the ball being tipped in the air and people in the end zone in a cluster. It's that guy that's short in yep. the end zone who comes up and ends up making the play because he goes unguarded. So there's a lot to think about if you're playing defense in this situation. We'll see if they can cover all their bases. He'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Super Bowl 49 hero Malcolm Butler. And that is going to seal this victory as time runs out. Well, we were on hand for a fun and entertaining game here. Coming down really to that last play. Great job defensively to get the pick and seal it. And we know that every play during a game matters. You're never sure which one's going to be one of the key ones. But at the end of the game, when you analyze it, three, four, five plays are going to be the ones you focus on. And that last play was one of them. The last shot had to take it. And they